Hey Makers, I'm Anna Kazunas France reporting from the floor of CES 2014 and I'm here with Sam Jacoby of Form Labs. He's going to tell us a little bit about the Form 1 3D printer and other new software updates. So Sam. Uh, we're having a great time here at CES 2014. Um, we're here with the Form 1, uh, our desktop high resolution stereolithographic 3D printer. Uh, it's a very exciting machine that allows just about anyone to create extraordinarily detailed, high-resolution models on their desktop. Um, this week, we're really, really excited to introduce our new software, uh, Preform 1.0, uh, which lets you prepare your models for printing super easily. Excellent. Can you tell me a little bit more about that or maybe show us on the screen? Sure, absolutely. Um, so here we have Preform. Uh, Preform is software that allows you to import your STL or OBJ file. So whatever 3D CAD software you're using, you can import your model in. Um, what we're really proud of is our automatic orientation and support generation tools. Uh, what we're really trying to do is put the focus in 3D printing where it should be on the cre creativity of the maker and the modeler, uh, as well as on the quality of the finished product. You shouldn't have to spend a whole lot of time thinking about how to orient your part, generate supports. The software should do that for you. And what we're trying to do is move as much as possible towards really the same kind of intuitive print process you get when you're working in, say, a text document or something. When you hit Command-P, you're not kind of wondering, like, ooh, I, how's that going to turn out? You know, is my little text document going to print that way? Right. right. That's how 3D printing should be. You shouldn't worry about it. And, and we really made some serious strides with Preform 1.0. Excellent. So it's mostly in the software, and then you send the file to the machine, and there's no fussing or tweaking. Absolutely. I mean, we have heard from a lot of people uh, who've received their Form 1s, which has been a bit of a journey unto itself, but we're excited to say that uh, a couple months ago we completed shipping to our Kickstarter pledges, which is very exciting. Um, so I'm getting a lot of feedback recently, and people say, wow, I took it out of the box, and I'm up in printing in 10 minutes. And that's, and that's really what it's designed to do, to, to let you get on with your life, your work, uh, your making, uh, and let the printer do the work. So Sam, tell me your take on is making going mainstream? All you need to do is look around the show floor here at CES to see that making is absolutely going mainstream. There are so many 3D printers. Uh, where there once used to just be a couple scattered here and there, there is an army of them. And you know that really gets us excited. You know, we are extraordinarily proud of the Form 1 and the things that you can do with it. But you know, there is a bigger story here, and that story is creating extraordinary tools to allow anyone to re realize their designs. And 3D printing is obviously a huge part of that. Uh, so is making going mainstream? I think it is mainstream. Excellent. Well, Sam, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Absolutely. Thank you.